Tom from the Metal Edge Show here at Download Festival 2014 with Joel from the Amity Affliction. How are you today, Joel? Uh, good, how are you? Very good, thanks. So your new album, uh, Let the Ocean Take Me, uh, came out last week. Yeah. And it's had some great reviews. For example, it received 4Ks from Kerrang! Magazine. Good. Yeah, it did. Know that. Which, is, really cool. which is 4 out of 5, so yeah. not 4 out of 10. <laughs> well, that'd be a little bit upsetting. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about the album and why people should check it out? Uh, well, I mean, it's our best today, I think, by far, and, um, I don't know, every album for us, I feel like, has been a really big step forward, and this one's no different, so, I don't know, we're all proud of it. It's the first one I like, start to finish, which is pretty cool. So, uh, statistically, the album's also doing great, uh, it received over 10,000 pre-orders in Australia alone, uh, which is more than Coldplay and the Black Keys received in the weeks run up to their recent releases. Uh, how do you f how do you guys feel about that? Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool, but I've I've always said that the most important thing for me is the shows and how they do them. That hasn't changed a bit. Like it's cool and it's like flattering, obviously. But um, I don't know. I don't really care <laughs> that much about it. <laughs> so how have the shows been in support for the album? Uh, we haven't done any yet. Oh, sorry, haven't you? Up. <laughs> well, how, how do you think they're going to be? I think they'll be pretty fucking huge, to be honest. So I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about Pittsburgh. Yep. Uh, it seems that that track's very deep and meaningful to you as a band, looking at the lyrics. Uh, are you able to tell us a little bit of maybe like a backstory or inspiration behind the lyrics? Uh, well, I had like several massive panic attacks that led to a seizure that nearly led to death. I didn't realise it was that deep, what? Yeah, and uh, Pittsburgh was the city we were in, but um, Death's Hand is much more about that actual event, but Pittsburgh is like a, explaining a panic attack kind of thing to someone that's never had one. Because, wow. Yeah, it's, it's very fucked and it's not a good time at all. I really feel like you're going to die. I mean, I nearly did die at the end of it, but that was not related to the panic attacks themselves. So. Well, cheers for speaking to us, Joel. Uh, have a great show. Easy. Thanks a lot, dude.